誰かぐや姫よかぐや姫 Hello everyone welcome back to my channel Today I have another review and this time is for Pulip Human Luna or、uh, the Princess Kaguya oh, wait how is it called? I forgot Let's see Luna the Moon Princess's Lover version or whatever the heck that means because I don't know Human Luna that's the name Now let's take a look at it Let's start with the box In comparison with other boxes This box does not have any kind of Sailor Moon design, just the 20th anniversary logo right here. We have the moon right here. We have the Sailor Moon logo and Luna the Moon Princess's lover version, writing in English and Japanese. Here we have the official Pulip sticker and the official toy sticker. Sadly, my box wasn't flawless, and the window came unglued in this section right here. But it's nothing so bad. One of the goodies that comes with this Pulip doll is her collector card. She looks so pretty. She also comes with her crescent moon necklace and her anklet. They are both easy to put on because of this little thing right here. So you don't need to worry about it too much. I recommend you to put the necklace on. While her hair is still wrapped, so it's not it's not that difficult. But this doll loses a lot of hair, and here she is, human Luna in all her glory. Let's talk about her face up. 
She got and very light pink cheeks. She got and also like a peachy pink color and her lips is glossy. She got beautiful blue, black and yellow eyeliner and a little bit of yellow eyeshadow as well. Her eye chips are blue and this blue is fabulous. Her eyebrows are kind of bluish black. Her eyeliner here is also black with a hint of blue at the top. And here we have the iconic crescent moon shape on her forehead. Now I'm here with my thoughts on this beautiful Pulip doll. Let's start with the hair. First, the Odangos. These are very delicate hair pieces, so you need to be very careful with her. Look at how long this wig is. Like, it's the longest wig in the whole Sailor Moon series. And it's beautiful, it's soft. I cannot show you the true color in video because the lightning is not good today. But she has a really, really dark purple and it fits perfect, the character. The only bad thing I have to complain about this doll is the, the hair sheds a lot. Like, you touch the hair once and it comes 10 hair in your hand. You touch it again and 10 more hairs are going to come up. So you need to be extra careful with this hair. It is very fragile. Her face up, it's so pretty. She looks a lot like Princess Serenity, but she also got this kind of cat style and she looks beautiful. Her eye shapes are amazing blue color. And... Her earrings are basically the same as Pulip Sailor Moon as well as the necklace are made by the same material and the anklet. This dress is so simple and so beautiful at the same time. We have these two underskirts and the bottom one is the, the, fra the most fragile one so you need to be careful with that one. This doll does not come with panties, which is kind of sad because I don't like her to be butt naked like that. And she does not come with shoes either. And I must tell you that it's very, very hard to pose her without shoes because these feet are very slippery. And she will like, when you pose her, she will open her feet like this and will, will like fall. So if you're going to display her, do it in a very, very safe place, okay? I paid uh, $120 from Yahoo Japan. It's worth it. This doll is an awesome quality, it's beautiful, and it's very, very rare to find a doll with this character. I was very, very surprised when she was announced. This is the end of my video. I hope you like it. I hope you comment. If you have any question about this doll, I will be happy to answer you as soon as I'm able. Don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe so you can take a look at more of my videos. See you later. Bye.